Now with the old bed bolt removed, we're going to move to installing the new uh, Amtec 1000. First piece is the bolt. So we try to see if we have which backs that we have. First we put in the shorter one. No, because you have to make sure that you're centered in the hole with the back set. Which that won't work. So the other one, perfectly centered. If you're not centered in this case, the holes don't drill wrong. Uh, you will have to drill the hole uh, to make sure that you're centered on either of the back sets. Um, otherwise, it's, everything's going to jam up. Nothing will really work properly. And that, that really is, is key with any lock. It's not just uh, you know, the MTEC or any deadbolt. A any lock will do that. Okay. Next, we have the front. We take it. We turn the tailpiece here all the way towards the hinge side and then back one quarter of a turn, okay? So it's facing vertically. First, feed through the wire, and the wire you have to make sure is above the bolt, and then the tailpiece goes through in the cross of the bolt, push it through, you then have the back piece, back piece, you fit, fish the wire through this hole, and gently and delicately put it on. And there's a lot of pins to align back here, so it's basically gently making sure that everything Tail piece. Again, it's making sure you're lined up with your tail piece. I this. There you go. So what I have to make sure is that the small part in here was vertical, like the tail piece. And there you go. And we have two screws. I start them by hand. It's very important. These are aluminum housings. And, uh, if you cross thread them, the housing is pretty much shot and becomes a very expensive toy. Tighten, not quite all the way. Make sure everything is lined up straight, nice. And then you give it a little slow. That's tight. Okay. At this point, you connect the wiring harness and you feed it through here. This ensures it's protected, it doesn't get pinched anywhere. The provided battery on, the lock says hello. The back piece, again, this is a D shape. Make sure that the D matches here. This case, straight up. go right on this fit one. two nice part about these uh, these lock assemblies doesn't matter if you have a left hand hinge, right hand hinge, you don't need to know any of those things. It works both ways. And as mentioned earlier, both back sets provided, so it's pretty much all included in the kit. So slow. Voila. So, as mentioned earlier, Lock it with a key. Or it's provided, they provide you two user codes which you can reprogram. There's a reprogramming code on the back of this plate. Uh, it's unique to each, but uh, in this case, for example, the user code provided was 6243. No. Um, 
there you go, I, I punched it wrong. When you had the green flashing light, that means you got it right, and you would be able to unlock the door. Let's try this, let's come outside and try it. To lock it, you lock the door. Now, to unlock it, again, six, two, four, three, green light, you hear a small click, turn, done. We'll go over the uh, reprogramming instructions in a separate video.